I'm going to teach you how to use an avocado to make a great spice cake. Up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to cook on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to take an avocado and turn it into a great spice cake. And I've set out all sorts of spices today, like allspice and some great cinnamon and nutmeg and this actually I guess it's a vegetable is gonna hide in this cake and it makes it nice and moist and people will really love it so I'm gonna show you how to make it right up next so now I have two cups of mashed fresh avocados and we're just gonna put that into a mixing bowl and you could probably mix this by hand but it's gonna take a while and we've got the two cups of fresh mashed avocados right on in there. And you need two cups and then a two-third cup of sugar right on in there. So go ahead and put that right on into the bowl. There we go. Just like that. And today we're using vegetable shortening in the can. And this is just a cup of it. And let's get that right on into the bowl just like this. Now we're going to cream it together. Look at that. It's such a pretty light green. And that's the avocados working there into the cream mixture. Now we have to add the dry ingredients. Now you're going to mix in four whole eggs right on in there. Now, if you remember from my grandmother's banana cake recipe, we use what's called sour milk, and that's just regular whole milk, and we're using a cup today, and actually you're just going to take some vinegar, and you're going to dash it into the milk, just like that, just a dash, and let that sit just for a few minutes, and then come back to it in just a moment. Next up, you're going to add the spices, and I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon here, just dump that right on into there, into the bowl. I also have one teaspoon of nutmeg right here, and that goes right on in there as well. And this one uses allspice, and I like to use an apple pie spice that has cardamom in there. I love that spice, and that's when I'm using a teaspoon of that. But you could use allspice with that. And then we also need a teaspoon of salt that goes right on into the mixture and you also need two teaspoons of baking soda right on into the mixing bowl just like that mix that together just a little bit next up you're going to add three and a half cups of regular all-purpose flour in the milk that you set aside you're going to add it a little bit at a time so let's get this started there we go. We have our mixture, and though it's lost its avocado color, I know that the nutrition or whatever, you can Google it. You can figure out what they're good for. It's good for all sorts of things. Avocados are supposed to be good for you if you eat them. Much better than a candy bar, I would think. But what we're going to do is add one cup of chopped dates that I found in the dried fruit section. 
and we're just going to mix those right on into the mixture just like that. Next you'll need a 13 by 9 baking pan and spray down with some butter spray. Now take your baking pan and spread the mixture out. Spread it out just like this. Now put it in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And there you have it, my avocado cake. It's been out of the oven for a little while and it's been cooling down. And actually I'm gonna add a cream cheese icing which I've actually dyed green to match, well, the avocados that are in this cake. And we're just gonna spread this on top when this cools down all the way, and then we're gonna taste it. And there we have it, my avocado cake. And there's avocados hiding in there, and you can't really tell at all. And we put the dates in there, which are sugar-coated, actually, or something like that, but they look like little candy pieces in there. And I smell the cinnamon, and the nutmeg, and we've got that nice cream cheese icing up on top just like that, that we've dyed green, and I just can't wait to try this. Mmm! Taste that cinnamon and allspice flavor, and um, it just, wow, it has a great spice taste to it. It's very bright, and of course they, those dates taste just like candy in there. And just, this will really make a great cake that'll surprise somebody. I hope you get a chance to make my avocado cake. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there too. I love you all. I'll be back with some more shows soon. So subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow Watch out for that big tornado Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide